All right, folks. Um, greetings wherever you may find yourself. Today, I'm just going to show you how I use InDesign to create professional profiles or CV template. Um, so this is what you can use. I'm just going to today. I'm just going to show you how I use InDesign to create these line dividers, and then I set them up as paragraph style so that I could use it wherever or whenever I need to. So if you stick and stay with me, I'll show you a few tricks on how to set this line line dividers in InDesign. So um, I grabbed my test two, uh, type two, and then uh, I'm just gonna set up my basic uh, paragraph. I'm just gonna set this up double click and then the basic character fonts I would want what do I want let's see let me maintain Marriott Pro and then I'm just gonna ramp it up uh, yeah Marriott Pro and just give it like 18 okay and then uh, the color of uh, color I'm just gonna select something like blue and then hit okay so I'm just gonna hit it and start by doing the profile like uh, for a profile for say a software engineer so I just type profile uh, software engineer right um, I think I will need to tweak it. I need to make it bold and then increase the font a bit. So I'll double click on this paragraph style and then under the basic character format, I'm just going to make it 19. Make it bold. And then I think, uh, let's ramp it up a bit. Let's make it 20. Point. Perfect. Sounds good so now i have my software profile for software engineer now i'm just gonna create these line divided so let's say i have the profile for software engineer um then i'll divide it then i'll come to the experience um go back a bit okay i have experience then probably experience will have some um, I need to give it a bigger space to, to put all the experience there and then I'll just put in say education right and then maybe I'll add the scales right perfect so I would want to create this line divided so that below the profile software engineer there's this line that um, that falls or that that is created below the software engineer and then runs across the page and then the same line will be repeated after the experience and then similar one will be under education and then skills so I'll hit enter and then go to the paragraph styles again right so the paragraph styles if you want to have it here it's under the typography I'm using the 2020 um, InDesign CC version so if I click on typography, um, say if this is the book, I will not have the paragraph styles. It may be here, fine. But then I uh, always, if I want to have it handy, I just select the typography and then it's here for me. So under paragraph styles, I'm going to add a, another style for the lines. So I'll hit option, then click new one. And I'm just going to name it line styles, okay? there you go and then under the line here's a trick you just have to select the paragraph rules and then click on rule on so rule above on then ju just check it and then what's the weight of the line i would want the weight to be like two um and then the color will be blue doesn't matter and then the line type you have various line types to choose from but i will choose solid and then under the, I'll leave the border, I will not touch it. I'll go to shading and then just um, check the shading um, button. And then uh, here, I'll want to make the shading something like uh, blue color, all right? 
I'll uncheck this box and then under the below I'll just ramp it up to like point oh to one and the point yeah to one point is fine I'll go down a bit to get it like zero point five all right I'll just click OK and now when I hit enter uh, not showing but I mean I didn't select it but let me see let me go to paragraph styles and then just hit the line style and then we, there you have it uh, I will just have to adjust it a bit so I can just repeat it for here as well just let me just hit enter and then just select the line styles so that I get it and get nice dividers beneath it Okay, and then the last one will be in the uh, skills. Right, so I need to adjust it a bit. So let me just go back into the line styles. And then under the paragraph rules. Uh, I think it's fine, but I need to offset it a bit. Let me see. Let me see how. The, okay, so because I have my check, check preview whatever I do or any adjustment that I do will be shown so it's I think I like it this way okay what I'm gonna do next is to make that blue color white and so go to the shading no here I think I need to I can just change this one to paper right and just hit ok and then it creates that kind of white gap between those two blue lines right that's exactly how i like it so i'll just it's okay it's fine for me and what i'll do next is just to bring this in a bit so that i can add it to the left side right so i'll just um hit the type two and then if i have, say i have my experience listed here i would want the the, the date that i I had those experience so just selecting it just move it up move my arrow keys a bit and I stretch it out a bit and then uh, I can align it to the center and then just type um, so if, for instance, I had this experience, and let me delete it and redo this again. Let me see. I make it like if I was 2019 to 2020. Um, I can just adjust this and I'll probably give it a new style let me give it a new style so that I don't get confused so option and hit and then I can create date column date sort of column date styles right and then uh, the character basic character I'll just uh, reduce it to say 12 and then the color 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 can just select black and then the black I need a tint of it I don't want it to be so black so I'll just choose 80 percent and then click OK and then I can start typing 2019 to 2020 see if I work at a place uh, just select it make sure I get my paragraph styles out and then I'll just click on yep um, think I'll select it and then center it a bit I don't know how but I can just do it right no I did yep I think I like it right so this if I hit the preview um, button like uh, if I if I'm still on the selection tool, click anywhere and then hit W on the keyboard. 
see how it aligns and I if I say have my experience here uh, I think I'll need to bring this one down a bit and see one point All right and then I can start typing see if I worked with um, cocoa board for example think that one I can still use a column this styles to do that All right make sure it's aligned and up and it is just how okay to select it cocoa board from 2019 to 2020 sort of I mean just have to type anything and then you can actually bring your your various styles like if you have you can create a bullet style to list whatever experience or whatever your responsibilities were at the cocoa board you can do same with education and then here uh, under the software engineer you can just put in anything I am a um, make sure I select the column date styles or any style I want I am a software engineer with 20 years experience in coding blah 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 I mean you can just put whatever you want here and then these dividers will make it I mean the, your, your profile look very professional so if you like it just let me know uh, by liking or commenting uh, and then you can subscribe to my channel if this interests you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.